Four out of five companies aren't able to train as many reps on the skills they think they need, according to a recent corporate vision survey done in partnership with Sales and Marketing Management magazine. Of the companies experiencing this problem, 56% said time out of the field is the main constraint. Another 37% cited budget restrictions, coming in a distant second. But here's the thing, there could be a conflict of interest perpetuating this training shortfall. At most companies, sales managers are most often identified as responsible for determining training paths for reps, according to the survey. But because sales managers are often the most resistant to taking reps out of the field, they're not always motivated to invest the time in training. This could explain why the survey revealed that investment in classroom-based sales training will remain flat in the coming years. Meanwhile, 65% said they plan to increase investment in virtual training formats. A nod to the idea that training modalities will have to adjust to the realities of field demands. Interestingly, 45% of the companies surveyed believe classroom-based events are the most effective in terms of driving behavior change in salespeople, the highest among training categories. On the other hand, only 9% said virtual training was the most effective in this area. So, what can companies do to make sure their move to virtual training makes an impact? Three things. Base your training content on a competency model aligned to the skills areas reps need to master, such as pipeline growth, business case proposals, and pricing protection. Implement custom learning paths based on key performance indicators, not arbitrary learning paths determined by role or sales managers. And reinforce behavior changes with flexible, just-in-time content, pushed to reps when and where they need it without taking them out of the field. Want to learn more about these results? Check out Corporate Vision's State of the Conversation report here.